So welcome to this Anakit launch. We're very excited to, to be launching this great new project, um, a meld of the CNTT project and OPNFE, uh, which I think will benefit everybody. Um, I'm, um, I'm Beth Cohen from Verizon and um, I am a product manager in Verizon responsible for uh, software defined networking products. Um, and I've been involved in uh, CNTT from its inception about a year and a half ago before it even had that name. Uh, and I've been mostly focused on uh, reference models and um, sort of the organizational uh, components of the CNCT product project. Um, and uh, I am really looking forward to the what's going to be coming out of Anakit. And we're going to be talking about operator, you know, what are the business drivers? Why, why is Verizon interested? Why am I interested? And um, I'm going to turn it over to uh, William from Orange, who's going to talk a little bit about why he's here. Yes, hello, thank you, Beth. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is William. I'm working on, on the coordination of the open source initiative inside Orange. Uh, so I am working in CNTT from one year ago, and I'm very proud to be part of this adventure. Uh, and, and now in, in this uh, new Anucat project, it's, it's very exciting for me to, to be part as well of this, this uh, new project. So thank you, William. So let me talk a little bit. Um, uh, let's talk a little bit about the Anakit organization and why it benefits the, the operators. And, and I should say the entire community, but we're really gonna focus on sort of the business aspects of, of why this organization um, is of benefit to us. So of course, Anakit is, is really a meld of the best, I feel from the best of CNTT and OPNFV. Um, and CNTT, of course, focused on the architecture aspects and the requirements, and OPNFE focused more on the testing and compliance and um, the development aspects. And, and they, I think that the two really are very complementary, um, both from architects and developers working together, but also operators and vendors working together toward a common goal. And so, you know, William, if you could just um, sort of uh, you know, make some comments about how, yes. how you feel uh, and how our launch is supporting us. Yes, thank you, Beth. Yes, I, I, I think that this uh, collaboration between CNTT and OpenNFV is very important for the ecosystem. For the beginning, OpenNFV uh, has provided different frameworks and, and, and also uh, improved different uh, specifications in order to, to, to make these uh, different specifications a reality. And, and today, uh, thanks to this cooperation, we have uh, made a reality these uh, different uh, POCs and also uh, field trial around the CNTT specification. So this collaboration and, and, and this new project, which uh, uh, have CNTT and OpenNV makes sense. So thank you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, the collaboration, you know, really let's get down to, you know, what are the, the business drivers here? Um, so, you know, here is the, is the scope of the project as, as it's been defined and, and how we benefit is, you know, it simplifies our operations. Uh, operators are used to very complex environments. And, and you know, if, if we can, support fewer infrastructure platforms, that's, that's incredibly um, beneficial from a business perspective. It will um, save resources. It will um, you know, allow us to cut costs and of course, deliver better services to our customers. Uh, and um, it allows us to compete you know, on the features and services that our customers are interested in. Our customers are not particularly interested in the infrastructure because as far as they're concerned, it's just part of the package. So um, uh, William, if you could talk a little bit about, you know, the cross community collaboration, how that benefits us. Yeah, this, this cross community uh, was very important from the beginning for, for CNTT and uh, CNTT uh, was 
a joint cooperation between the Linux Foundation and, and GSMA, and this cooperation will continue in, in Anuket. And it's very important to, to have this, this ecosystem and cooperation between all the uh, open source and, and, and standardization bodies that, that uh, provide more uh, a compliant ecosystem for the cloud infrastructure for telco services. So it, this uh, cross community is very important for, for the future of Anuket as well. Agreed, uh, very much agreed. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how this um, helps the community. You know, what, what is the what is the benefits to not just the network operators, but also, you know, the the ecosystem and the vendors within the community. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about uh, you know the network operators benefit. You know, limit limit the number of infrastructure platforms. Uh, reduce capital expenses, faster build out, you know, um, sim simpler RFPs. I mean, it, it, what we're what we're hoping to incorporate is require this as part of our RFP process, which will again allow us to incorporate the the efficiencies. Um, but there's obviously other uh, benefits as well. Um, and if you could talk a little bit more, William. Yes, uh, from uh, operator network, uh, for network operator point of view, uh, this uh, aspect, RFP aspect, is very important to simplify this process. Uh, from from Orange, uh, since the last year, we have started this uh, utilization of this uh, uh, CNTT specification in our internal RFPs. So we already use CNTT. It's, it's very important for, for us to, to, to have this, uh, these specifications. And we are uh, very uh, exciting to have new project Anuka that will provide uh, more compliant, cloud compliant uh, specification for, for containers as well in, in future releases. Yeah, and I'd like to talk a little bit about the, that uh, pick up on the containers because uh, I know Verizon has been, um, you know, closely um, watching and been involved in the in the RA2 uh, work stream, which is focused on containers, um, because we understand that there's gaps uh, within the co container uh, ecosystem and the projects, and we've been working closely with CNCF to to drive. Um, the development um, to, to fill the gaps, to drive the development that's needed to fill those gaps to support those network functions that are so critical to us, you know, 5G and, and some of the other upcoming technologies. Um, so with that, I'd like to, you know, any, uh, well, I'd like to talk a little bit about how the vendors uh, benefit as well, um, because the vendors, both the infrastructure and the NFV vendors, um, Mm -hmm. you know, don't need to support as many infrastructure platforms, proprietary or, or open source by, by um, working within the community because we have, uh, we have developed those reference architectures and we have also developed that end-to-end -end compliance and conformance that, that allows the, the vendors to really focus on, you know, what differentiates that, that the value that differentiates differentiates them with the community, uh, which is really, you know, the features, the value added features that the operators are interested in. Um, so any other comments? Uh, yes, I, I think that this is very important to have the all all actors in this ecosystem to, to come to Anuka to contribute and, and also uh, provide their uh, point of view regarding the evolution of, of the technology around the, the cloud infrastructure. It's, it's very important to, to build this, this new Anucat project. So uh, from operators, network operators, NFV vendors, uh, and also infrastructure vendors, uh, you are very important for us. Uh, and, and with that, I'd like to um, welcome everybody. I'm really excited about this launch and, and I know um, we, we really welcome everybody to participate um, to yes. make this a success. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and, and see you, I hope see you in, in coming Anucat meetings uh, and, and, and events as well. <laughs>